How's it going, Mathaholics? Today we're going to be looking at linear relationships and bivariate data. So bivariate data is a big fancy word, but I promise you that it's nothing that you haven't seen before. Here's the definition. Bivariate data is just data made up of two paired variables. However, I don't think that this definition really helps anybody understand anything. So I'm going to explain exactly what this is to you. Fortunately, it's nothing that you haven't seen before, and I promise you that. So let's look at some requirements. Requirements. Data forms a straight line. Okay, let's see if our data forms a straight line. Would this be considered possible by bivariate data? It could be because that is a straight line. However, could this be considered bivariate data? No, because there is no way you can consider that a straight line at all. And then the second piece of the second requirement is line has a constant slope. We know that every completely straight line, let's pretend this is a straight line, has a constant slope. So we're, we are good in that department. Now let's look at this problem. The points on the graph represent the amount of miles Sally walks each hour. Is this relationship linear? If so, find the equation of the line. How many miles will she walk in 10 hours? This problem is asking us to do a couple things. Is this relationship linear? Okay, that's one. If so, find the equation of the line. And third, how many miles will she walk in 10 hours? The first thing we need to see is, is this relationship linear? What have I said about linear relationships in the past and how do we know for sure if they are linear? The word linear has line in it. And if we can see that the data forms a straight line, then we know that the relationship is linear. So let's take a look. And this looks like a pretty straight line to me. So I'm going to say, yes, this is linear. However, that is just me assuming. We, what, it is not good for us to assume because we'll get into a lot of trouble in life. So let's not assume things. How can we know for sure if this relationship is linear? Let's find the slope. There's a couple ways of finding slope, like I've said in the past. If this is your first video, then welcome. Up to over 1, up to over 1, up to over 1. That is our rise over run method. But if we're not fortunate enough to have points on here, we can just find some coordinates and see um, what the slope is. So let's look at 2 and 4. And then this other one up here is at 3 and 6. Let's find slope y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. It does not matter which one we have for our y2 or which one we take for our y1. So we're just going to start doing some math. 6 minus 4 over 3 minus 2. And I've done videos on this in the past. If you want me to go into more detail, feel free to, feel free to check out one of those other videos. 6 minus 4 is 2, 3 minus 2 is 1. So we see that we get the exact same slope regardless of whether we go up 2 over 1 or up 2 over 1 or we do the y2 minus y1 formula. So we have a constant slope. And what do we know now that we know that we have a constant slope? Constant slope means straight line. Straight line means linear. So the answer to that first question is yes, this is a linear relationship because we have a constant slope. If so, find the equation of the line. How are we going to do that? So we've seen in the past, we need to put things into our slope intercept form. What is slope intercept form? Y equals MX plus B. M means slope. B means Y intercept. We found our slope is 2 over 1, which is just the same thing as 2. Looking at the things we wrote down here, m equals slope. So let's go ahead and replace this m over here with a 2. And then we see a b as well. What do we know about b? b is the y-intercept. And to find b, we just need to look at our graph and see where does B, I'm sorry, where does the line hit the y-axis? And we see that it hits it right here at 0, 0. So we can simply just put, I'm going to delete some stuff here, delete all this. 
So we can either write y equals 2x plus 0, or you can just leave it as y equals 2x. Either way, it would be completely acceptable. Now we found the equation of the line. Very simple. Feel free to rewind the video if you need to watch that one more time. And now we need to know one more thing. How many miles will she walk in two hours? So we know our equation is y equals 2x. 2 is the slope. x is a letter. Okay, what can we do with this information? Whenever we are asked to predict something, we, need to, we have a couple of steps. Find the equation. Substitute given value. And I misspelled substitute, S-U-B-S-T-I-T-U-T-E. There we go. Let me make this a little bigger. So step one is find the equation. Fortunately, we already did that. And step two is substitute the given value. What is our given value in this example? We are, to we are asked how many will she walk in 10 hours. So we just need to plug in 10 for x. 2 times 10 gives us 20. I accidentally grabbed my pencil upside down. I was wondering why I wasn't writing. And we know that she will walk 20 miles in 10 hours. And we know that's true because let's take a look. In one hour, she walked 2 miles. In three hours, she walked 6. So we know we're multiplying the amount of hours by 2. She's walking 2 miles every hour. So in 10 hours, our answer of 20. That makes a lot of sense. That's all we have to do for bivariate data. Like I said at the start of the video, it's nothing that you haven't seen before. It's just putting some pieces together into different problems.